What is up, welcome guys into the Shopify elements. I'm gonna show you how to change your banner from your store and to connect it into an actual video. So to do this process is actually gonna be really simple. First of all, what you need to do is to log the end directly into your store. You have the link to download in the description if you want to get started early for free, and then having a huge deal later on. So now that I'm inside my actual new element of my Shopify store, I'm gonna close this. What I need to do is to go into my online store. Here into my only store, I'm going to go for my themes. So this is the part where I wanted to locate the place where I wanted to get started with the actual banner. So let's go and look out for the customization where it says customized. So I'm going to click here where it says customize. And once we are now into the area of the Shopify, you see that we have an actual banner that we're going to be using for this website. So what I need to do is to change this image banner for an actual video. So for that, what I need to do is to go back and go for add a new section. Into add a new section, what you can do is to add a custom liquid. And this custom liquid, we wanted of course to paste an actual code. Now this code was generated for the actual Shopify, generated by the chat DBD. What you can do is to look out for more, for example, into pastebin.com and much more elements. So in order for making this liquid quote to work, what I wanted to do is to look out for the actual video we wanted to make this source at end. So let's go here to Shopify once again. I'm gonna hit now into logged in once I open a new tab. In a new tab, let's locate our files of the Shopify. So first of all, I'm gonna go here inside content and here into content, let's go for files. Now here into files, you should be uploading your video. I can totally recommend you to make it high quality, but during less than five seconds and of course working as an actual loop. So you can, of course, use elements, for example, Pexel, there's Pixabay, there's Canva, and there's so much more. So let's go for videos, let's go for closed, and select one video that you kind of like. So once you have selected a video that you like to use for your customization of the video banner, then what you can do is to download it. After you download it, you can just import it directly into your Shopify files. Now that my video has now been uploaded, I can just look out for it directly into my files. I can go for upload files, let's go, go for videos. And here it is. So this one should be generating me an actual link. I'm gonna copy this link. I'm gonna head back directly into the editor of Shopify. And here have the liquid quote. So it says source your, your video URL. I'm gonna select all of this video URL and I'm gonna paste it like this. So your browser does not support this video tag. As you can see, the video is now appearing in here and automatically it is appearing in a very easy way. So if I go back, I'm gonna select my custom liquid and I'm gonna place it into the upper side just at the top of my website. So now as you can see, we have this banner that actually works for my website. Now, if you like to customize this custom liquid, what you can do is to add much more criteria about it. So you can just type, everything can be edited directly into the custom C double S. The other solution that you can do to get started in adding your new section of the banner BD Shopify is to use the base pastebin.com. So the paste bin can be helping you to use this element. And what you need to do is just to copy all of these assets. So I'm gonna copy everything that I see in here. Scroll all my way down. And here I paste it, here is the end schema. So I copy the end schema. And instead of just using this process inside the editor, what I wanted to do is to open the theme file. So if I hit now into save, for example, let's go into exit. And instead of going for curse let's go for three dots and go for edit code. Into edit code, usually what we do is to find out this files and you can find out the asset and here you can look out for base. Now into base, I can scroll all the way down and paste the code that I have just generated on or of course, let's say copy it from the pastebin.com. Once you can paste this asset, you can go back directly into the editor. Let's go and customize the theme to the upper side. And when you customize the theme, what you can do is to just add your new video. Into the upper side, what I need to do is to make sure that here I can go for add section. And into add section, here is the video. So I can click now into video and the process is exactly the same. Now into video, I'm gonna select my video, 
go for done and there we go so both browsers uh, work uh, really easy you can do it so if you think that the best solution is the first way that we used it then what you can do is just to use them you can use both of them if you wanted to so once I have made this process what I can do now is to go back select my video and put this into the upper side now if you see I believe that the best template that we currently have to is this one the first one because automatically it has now started to automatically so we could just go back delete the image banner that we currently have to, and we're actually good to go so hit now to save preview your website and you're good to go so with that being said guys that is how we can actually add this great great video uh, section directly into our store so make sure that you have just a really great high quality images before you upload it so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools on shopify thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully we can all see you next time